What up, everybody, and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz, and I talk about blades, but today we are not going to talk about a blade. We're going to talk about an entirely different EDC item that men all around the world use every day of their lives, and that is the men's wallet. Recently, a new company for Baz on Blades and our leather reached out to me to see if I wanted to review some of their product line. And, of course, I said yes, because you see the product in front of you here. Um, what I did is I picked out two of their men's wallets. Uh, I purposefully picked two different bifold wallet designs. Uh, one that is a traditional bifold and one that is a more modern, minimalist type of Bifold, and that's what we have in front of us here, the Andar Apollo. This is a minimalist bifold wallet, a modern design. Uh, Andar's contact information will be in the uh, description section of the video and pinned in the comment section. You can see here there is a thank you card in the packaging. On the other side, you've got a coupon code for $5 off. All of their contact information, nice heavy card stock. Inside the box, you will find your wallet packaged in a nice little linen drawstring bag. Very nice presentation. Presentation is always important for a company like this uh, because you see the product before you use the product. Much like when you sit down in a restaurant, you see your food before you taste it. So it must be plated well and look like it's good to eat. So the Apollo is a minimalist bifold. Uh, you can see here, this one is in dark brown. It is an oiled type of leather. Um, it is very good feeling leather. It is very good smelling leather. The stitching is all straight and tight. Zero issues on the stitching. Um, this is a very intriguing design, guys. Um, I like minimalist wallets. Uh, now, I'm more of a traditional bifold person, but I also like minimalist wallets. Uh, they take up much less room in your pocket, and this is a compact wallet. Let's go ahead, as always, and knock the numbers out first. I didn't record numbers for this, uh, but let's take a look at this. We are looking at um, four and a quarter inches long by what is this right at three inches wide that's about two and seven eighths of an inch and then we will switch over here to our metric and that's about seven and a half centimeters wide um by what is that ten and a half centimeters long and of course it's not very thick at all now this is a very interesting wallet as it has internal storage it has external storage on both sides of the wallet. Um, you can store cards all over this wallet. Let's take a look at the outside first. You have a V pocket here on this side. Uh, we're going to pull out my Food City Value card. That is a grocery store that we have here in the Southeast United States. And this is what you're going to get on this. Now, this is a tight fit in pocket. And I would not put more than uh, two cards in this. Now, of course, I do not carry a ton of cards in my wallet anyway. Uh, but I would probably go about two cards maximum on this exterior pocket. Your access, you see you have a slot here. You can push that back out uh, for access there. On the other side of the wallet, the access for the exterior pocket is, is at the end of the wallet. You're going to slip your card down in there. And then the way you retrieve it is with this pull tab, it is hooked to an elastic loop 
that goes underneath your card. So as you pull this up, it pulls the card up to give you access. The card is fully seated in that slot. All right, and it is a tight slot also. Uh, again, on these exterior slots, I would probably not go more than a couple of cards on that. Um, not only is having two different types of slots on the exterior, uh, it, it, it contributes to the neato factor, um, but you know what? It allows you to separate what you are putting in your wallet by feel, okay? Uh, I know that whatever I put into this pocket, I can retrieve it because I've got the tab here. I don't even have to look at the wallet. On this side, I've got something totally different stored, and it's going to feel different. Say you are in line in a store and you need to pull your credit card. You know your credit card is on this side for quick access. You pull your wallet out. You're talking to the, uh, the person that is checking you out. You've got eye contact going there. You're communicating as a human being and you are just fumbling around with your wallet, but you know what you have in these exterior pockets because they are two different types of pockets. I very much like that aspect. On the inside of the wallet, on one side, you have an ID window. Um, both of the wallets that I picked out, both the traditional bifold and this minimalist, both have an ID window because I prefer to have an ID window. I do not want to have to pull my ID out of my wallet for it to be viewable. So, um, on this ID wallet, or on I, the ID pocket, the access is from the inside, and we're going to slip this card in there. Boy, that's a tight fit, guys. Let me slip this card in there. Okay, so we got the card slipped in there, and that's your view for your ID window. Uh, it is a nice tight window, okay? Um, this wallet is very tight, guys. Um, it, there is, there's no, I don't think there's any chance that you're going to lose your cards out of it. You've seen me fumbling around here, reaching around the camera, trying to deal with it. Uh, on the other side of the flap here, you've got two card pockets. And again, uh, you can fit your cards down in your card pockets here. And they are traditional sort of card slots. Let's look down in here. That is your the way they're going to go in on that side. Again, I'm going to go two cards per slot. Um, with that capacity to keep it minimal, keep it thin, you don't want, do not want to overload your wallet. Uh, you've got two uh, slot here. You can put two cards in, say two cards on this side, uh, two cards right, or two cards in each of these slots. Uh, that's eight cards total, okay? Eight cards total. I would probably carry this wallet with seven cards total. The reason is I would probably just do one card in uh, either of these slots. That way, when I have to access them quickly, I've only got one card in there to fumble around with. Um, that's just the way I would do it, and that's six cards, right there. Then you've got a seventh card here with your ID. So um, if you have enough money to where you need to carry more than six credit cards, congratulations. Bazon Blades uh, does not have um, enough money uh, to where he has to have seven credit cards. Um, in fact, I try not to use credit cards at all. So, you do see we've got a hook here in the center because as a bifold, you usually have a full-length pocket for your bills. There is no full-length pocket on this minimalist type of wallet. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to hook your bills right up in that hook right there, guys, 
and then they're just going to fold right here. Now it looks a little sloppy because I didn't straighten all that up, but that's the way it looks, guys. Uh, the hook is tight enough to where you're going to retain that dinero that you've got in there, but also you can you can finger it off one bill at a time, or you can grab and you can pull both bills or all bills at the same time and you see this is two one dollar bills and no i am not headed out to the strip club uh you need more than two one dollar bills for that trust me um my first wife was a dancer and i know all about that guys a life of a rock and roll excess so We've got the Andor Apollo here. Again, you've got exterior pockets of two different types on either side of this wallet. Uh, you could go two cards in either one, although I personally, I would go one card in, on either one. Those are my quick access cards. OK, um, if I'm going to use this and I'm going to pull this out and bring my cards out, um, I just want I, just me personally. I just want one card in there and the same on the other side. As I say, they are your quick access spots. Then you've got your multiple slots on the inside. You could put a couple of cards in each slot. You've got your ID window here. You throw your ID in there, maybe tuck your uh, health insurance card or whatever up under that. And then in the center, you've got your hook for your bills. Um, you know, what, what, can, what all can you say about a wallet? That's the features of this wallet, guys. And I'm going to, I tell you what, I'm going to bring in my bifold wallet here and we're going to take a look at the difference in size. Now, my traditional bifold wallet is not a super large wallet. All right. But this is still more compact in width than my traditional bifold. Now, in length, they are pretty much the same, but you can already see there is a big difference in thickness. Now, again, I don't load my wallets down with a lot of cards. So let's do this. Let's take just the way that I would probably carry this wallet. We're going to put a card in each one of those slots. And then we'll put a card in this slot over here. And uh, then maybe, you know, some business cards. Baz on Blades may put his business card. And although this is not Baz on Blades business card, that is from Keep Tinkering, uh, which is uh, a business that does custom aftermarket triggers for Taurus firearms. So we've got all that in there. Let's throw our stripper money in here because, you know, stripper money because, you know. And uh, we'll throw approximate another couple of business cards in there to act like an ID for thickness here. And then we will close it up. No, it doesn't look neat. But uh, let's see how we're looking right now. It's still thinner than my other wallet. OK, now these cards, my Food City card, my gas card, uh, business cards all came out of this wallet and it's still thicker than the Apollo. The Apollo is a good minimalist design. These cards are quick to access um, on both sides. Yeah, this is fantastic, guys. It's fantastic. Uh, let's pull our bills out of here. We got our couple of slots on the inside. Boy, these slots are tight. This thing is tight. It's tight, guys. Um, and it's so very well made. Uh, you've seen it from every angle now. You've seen all the stitching on it. You've seen the finish of the leather. Um, you've seen how tight it is. I, you know what? I'm, I'm, yeah, I am pretty impressed with this. I am pretty impressed with this. And Art seems to do a very fine product. So. If you prefer a more modern, minimalist wallet design in a bifold, you like leather rather than uh, the, the most popular minimalist wallets are in metals, uh, aluminum or titanium or, you know, and they're, they're rigid frames and then they've got loops and straps and bungee cords and, 
and all of that on them. That's very modern. What if you want something modern and minimalist in a full leather wallet? And this sort of oiled leather will patina beautifully. It will take on such character. Um, that is one of the great things about fine leather. And this is, I, I, I have to admit, I've never spent a lot of money on wallets, guys. Uh, this wallet is nicer than any wallets that, um, that I've ever bought. It is. It, it's nicer than any wallet that I've ever bought. And um, I, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this product at all. If this is a design that you're looking for, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this at all. So, there you go, guys. This is the Andar Apollo. Let's bring this box back out here. We'll do some closing thoughts very quickly on the Apollo. Uh, here we go. So far, so good with Andar Leather. Um, I, I get sort of um, not really anxious when I uh, review product from a new company, but... The way that I review product is extremely honest because my viewers rely on that honesty to make an informed decision on whether they are going to buy a product or not. When a company sends something to me, um, there's two different types of reviewers that are on YouTube. There are reviewers on YouTube that use their channel to get free stuff. They get the free stuff, they say a whole bunch of good things about it, and then they keep the free stuff. Baz on Blades is not like that. I do very straightforward, very detailed, and very honest reviews. And I hardly ever keep the product that is sent to me for free. In fact, I'm not keeping this wallet. Um, when I... First talk to Andar Leather, I told them up front how I review products, that I would not be keeping the product, that it would be going into my Christmas 2020 giveaway. Um, and this wallet is going to go into that giveaway. And I got to tell you what, um, whoever wins this is going to get a hell of a wallet. Uh, it's very, very nice. I have no issues with saying that it's very, very nice. I like the design. Um, I like minimalist wallets, but I prefer leather. And that's what you get here in the Apollo from Andar Leather. So, stick around. Be looking for that Christmas giveaway. Thank you to Megan at Andar Leather. Thank you to Andar Leather themselves for sending this product over. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. God bless all of you, and we will talk to you again.